Hello, I'm Professor Perez. In this problem, we are asked to find the limit. We will be using the fact that the absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared. Note, as x approaches negative infinity, the values of x are negative, so we can replace absolute value of x by negative x. Let's begin by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the absolute value of x. Now up in our numerator, we will replace the absolute value of x with the square root of x squared. In our denominator, we will replace the absolute value of x with negative x. Now going back to our numerator, we can rewrite the quotient of the radicals as a radical of a single quotient. In our denominator, we will rewrite the rational expression as the sum of two fractions. Simplifying our expressions, we now get 5 subtract 2 over x squared underneath our radical, and in our denominator, we get negative 1 subtract 3 over x. Next, we can use properties of limits to get the following rational expression. We can now go ahead and evaluate our limits. Here we get 5, here we get 0, here we get negative 1, and here we get 0. And now we can go ahead and simplify our answer. We all should get negative square root of 5. Don't forget to circle or box your answer. And thanks for stopping by.